Hey everyone, this is Alan from BMW Durham, and we've got another new arrival. It's the 2022 BMW M4 competition with MX Drive. All right, so this is our first time seeing a 2022 BMW M4 or M3 in Dravic Gray Metallic. And I've been uh, looking forward to seeing it in this color because this has been a very popular color on other cars and on other cars it's looked really good. And I'd say with the M4, there's no exception. This color looks fantastic. Now this one does have the Tartufo uh, interior of full merino leather, which looks incredible. And another thing I noticed right off the bat was this one actually has the 825M wheels, last time we saw them on a 2021, uh, they were finished in orbit gray. This time they're bicolor, and they've got this uh, brushed aluminum finish, which I actually think these wheels look way better now than they did before. Uh, last time compared to the orbit gray 825M, I was a much bigger fan of the 826M all in black. So that looks really cool. And look at this. This one actually has the black M Sport uh, or black M compound brakes, which looks really, really good. Haven't seen that yet in person, so I was really looking forward to that. But now that we've got this example, I can share it with you. And of course, this one does have the laser light headlights, which you pretty well need to get on this car. And it does not have the exterior CF package, but uh, that's okay. And this one does have the advanced driver assist puck. But overall, I think the car looks really good in Dravic Gray. And I'd still want to see an M3, but I mean, this gives you a pretty good example of what that would look like. Now, these uh, cars, actually all the cars are becoming uh, much fewer and further between, but I can definitely say uh, <laughs> this car's not gonna be here for much longer. These things sell really quickly and they're gone pretty quickly too, so. I don't anticipate seeing this car for too long, so I definitely wanted to take this opportunity to share it with you. All right, now M cars, we don't get the kick to function uh, for M3, M4 anyways. So I'll just press the button. It still has a power lift gate, but it's just not uh, kicked to open. Back here, we've got a little storage compartment here where you're gonna find your tool kit and uh, usually your wheel lock key and your tow hook. You've got the grocery bag hanger here. Another grocery bag hanger here. Makes the car much more livable with those little features there. And we've got the ability to fold the seats down in a 60-40 split with a center pass-through, so the release levers are here. So that's very nice. And you've got another little storage compartment here along with your 12-volt plug right there. Now we've got the carpeted floor mats here because we've got the showroom car outfitted with the winter floor mats. So I'm just gonna press this button here and we'll have the trunk lid close. Now I've just got the passenger door open so you get a good chance to see that Tartufo color which looks really really good with the full merino leather meaning the entire bottom portion of the dash uh, as well as where you see the programmable memory buttons you'll see that it actually has the leather going all the way through which looks great. Now this one's got the sport seats that's why you can get this color choice um, but because you've got the sport seats the seats are also uh, ventilated as well as heated. Now, this one does have the carbon fiber interior trim, which is my favorite. I wish that every car could have this, but I definitely can't afford it. <laughs> and we've got MX Drive in this car, which you can't visibly tell, but uh, definitely has it. And of course, you've got the illuminated M badges on the seat. Seats look really, really good. And you've got those beautiful M seat belts. Now, um, let me just see if I can fit in the back there. Hold on. Okay, so I've climbed into the back of the M4. Uh, I've politely taken off my shoes because uh, I don't want to make a mess back here. Um, I'm just going to set this down. Let me just see if there's enough space for this right here. Hold on. Hold on. Whoops, wrong way. And I'm just going to put the seat forward now. So it comes back. And let's just see... You know what? I'm pretty comfortable back here. There's space for the center pass-through to go down, but uh, 
you know what, I could live back here. It's actually not that bad. I've got still some space uh, in front of my knees. My hair is touching the ceiling, but my head is not. So actually there's a lot of space back here and I'm actually quite impressed with it. So uh, I'm 5'9", I'm about 240 pounds. I did that on purpose for the M240, but uh, that's my, my spec. And uh, I'm, I fit back here actually pretty well. So nothing to complain about. Okay, so now if we enter from the driver's side, you can see that we've got that orange ambient lighting going on, which looks really good. We've got the galvanic controls, memory buttons, unlock lock, door handle, trunk release button here. And down here, we've got the M pedals. We've got your M steering wheel with carbon fiber all over it, carbon fiber uh, paddle shifters, which look really great. That's the grip that's on the back. I think that's really also uh, really nice. And let me just give you a little bit of a closer look at those merino leather Tartufo seats, which also look really good. Now what I want to do next is actually just sit down in the car. So that's what it looks like in the dash when you get in here. Now if I press the M mode, I can switch it to this more track focused view and uh, I haven't set it up yet but you can put something on the left side like a widget. I normally put like a g-force meter or something like that if I was to do something like that. Um, now this one of course has the carbon fiber roof so there's no sunroof up here which I'm perfectly happy with and we also of course have iDrive 7 in here and my oh my this car is an absolute beast. So I just wanted to take a moment and take a look at this beautiful carbon fiber roof. Now, there's a big divide in terms of what you should get. And obviously uh, there's no real right answer, but uh, we give you the option because, I mean, there's not too many cars out there that you can option a carbon fiber roof. And if I had the choice, I would definitely choose it myself. But I know that there are many who would take a free power sunroof instead. Uh, just for the fact that they really like the sunroof. They don't actually plan to track the vehicle and uh, it gives them a bit more comfort. So we really want the customer to just really uh, make the car their own. And for some, if, if no sunroof is a deal breaker, we don't want that to happen. So we allow you that type of option. All right, so I'm gonna get down here. I'm gonna pull this twice. Two pull system. We'll arrive to the front of the vehicle. Let's take a look at that S58 motor. So we have the S58 three liter inline six twin turbo with 503 horsepower, 479 foot pounds of torque. We know that that's all underrated. We've got your washer fluid over here. Your positive battery terminal is here. This is your negative battery terminal just down here. Got those nice braces. I wish they were carbon fiber, but can't get everything. <laughs> uh, looks really good, even when it's not moving. Now, this car is, of course, parked in our showroom, so I can't really start revving the exhaust or anything. But what I can do is I can get the car to remote start, and we can get a little bit of a cold start sound in here. So that's pretty much as good as I could get you in the showroom today, but uh, better than nothing. <laughs> okay, so that was our look at our new arrival, the 2022 BMW M4 competition with MX Drive and Drive It Gray with Tartufo Interior. You guys let me know what you think of that car. If you liked it, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. And we'll see you on the next video. Thank you so much for watching.